Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position. Alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Ternana, and they take on Como. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. The line-up then for the hosts. Well, it's all very narrow, both up front and in midfield. But they have players who are really good in tight areas. They manipulate the ball well, they can pass around pressure, and they're clever with their movement. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, I think the front pair need to combine well today, both with their link-up play and their movement. And if the number 10 can also find space, he will create problems with his passing. And also watch out for the fullbacks who do love to get forward. And the game begins. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. That's useful play. Now well, possibilities in the centre. He read the cross, but now must clatter it clear. And a bad pass it was. Can he finish? And blocked for now. Francesco Di Tacchio. Chance to play it in. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. Fabregas it's with Cutrone plenty of support here giving it a try superb stop Trying to deliver it accurately. And good pressure high up the pitch. Agazzi. Petrone. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Petrone. Andrea Favilli. Can they get in behind them? Oh, good use of the ball. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Now oh, that's a well-timed pass. Fabregas. Bazelli. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely.
Well, that's really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top-class finish. Are back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Koulibaly. Favili. Very quick thinking there. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. And just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. Andrea Favilli. Good technique displayed. Electing to cross into the centre. No nonsense clearance. Mancuso. Now can they create something? Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. the referee correctly decided to play advantage so almost at the break here and not quite going to plan for the home side work to do Stuart well it's been a fairly even first half so far but they haven't shown enough creativity particularly in midfield where there's been too many negative passes if they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker I think they'll get back into this and there it is the half-time whistle certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So, back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And intercepts again. Diakite. Francesco Di Tacchio. Mamadou Koulibaly. Well, they keep the ball moving. Can't miss, surely! Oh, did so well to deny him. And time for the change now. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? So the corner played into the box. Still not clear. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. And fed forwards. Can he get the shot off? Could be. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Oh, lovely ball. Nicely saved. 
And the play stopped. They will make the change now. Going short. Now let's see about the cross. It comes to nothing in the end. Agazzi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Cutrone. And the ball with Mancuso. Now Cutrone. Is it going to be? Oh, he's blocked it! Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. Oh, great attacking play. Wonderful chance. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. This is looking threatening. And options in the centre. Read it well. Really closing him down. Still pushing for what could be a winner. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Fabregas and the emphasis is on creativity oh a nice looking pass well a really important piece of goalkeeping at this stage well it's such a key moment in the game that's a really good save and it is substitution time at this juncture not just from one side but from both And played short. Clears it away. Cutrone. Here's Baselli. In position. Cutrone. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And that is it for the 90 minutes. Level pegging here.